And here we are in the Skoda VGT visionary car. I don't know what you call one of these. I barely drive these because they are quite soulless. <laughs> but this thing is really, really quick. I need to try and drive a bit careful because it's not no... Oh my god, this thing's actually kind of quick. <laughs> oh my god. You can tell obviously I don't really drive these because they're so... I mean, well, we all agree, don't we, that these aren't really the specifically the greatest thing in Gran Turismo at all. I think actually everyone does agree. It just sucks. <laughs> Having another update, that just sucks again. But you know what? I don't want to come with too much negativity because one thing I will say is that I'm glad they brought Skoda into the game because I'm waiting for the Skoda City Go to come through in the game. It's only because it's my IRL car. Not my car personally, but you know. But uh, yeah, this thing is quick. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm waiting for that car to come through at one point, which probably might as well. Alongside maybe even other Skodas as well. But I hope this is just not the only car they're bringing. That's it. But you never know. It could be also quite likely. But yeah, this thing is absolutely rapid. Oh my god. It's impressive though, I will say. It's impressive, but there's no good. There's not much good coming out of it though. Let's, let's be real. Like, yeah, it's just another update with just one vision car that no one cares about. You might got, we've obviously got the American Muscle Car as well, which I'll be honest, as a British citizen, I just don't care. <laughs> and then there's also another futuristic car, I think, as well. It's just like, I don't know what's going on with Gran Turismo, man. Like, adding these so-called, like, these cars, man, these concepts. I'm just not really interested. And neither does everyone else. Do you know what I mean? We can all agree on that. I will say the screen looks kind of cool, though. Look at that. Is that behind the track? I think that's behind the track. That's actually pretty sick. But anyway. Yeah, but on a real though, yeah, I'm not too impressed with the update, I'll be honest. And there's not really many good engine swaps as well. I actually had a look, and there's actually nothing that's decent that I actually do want to give a go. Which is quite sad. But then again, we did have the last update, which was the Euros, and which was pretty sick, as well as the Audi R8. So you can't have it all the time, a win-win, but then again... Gran Turismo should just be a win-win situation, man, do you know what I mean? Because the game's beautiful. I mean, everyone's always complaining about the tracks, aren't they, as well, we'll say. So, yeah... I might try and uh, do a drift build on this thing because I'm actually curious as to whether it can drift. I don't think it can. I don't think it will. But it's worth giving these things a go. So anyway, I'm going to get straight into what I want to be doing with this car and is to try and make it drift. So first of all, we're going to use some sports hard tires. I think that's what we're going to use. Is there, anything that, is there actually anything that we can... Probably not actually because it's electric and also the fact that it's a... Uh, a concept car so yeah we'll buy that we'll just buy whatever we can buy i think that's to be honest with you, i think that's like the best bet um actually, i don't i don't i never really use these but this might help me maybe not i don't know um i don't really need that uh yeah we can do with this there's no steering oh, angle that does gonna be a bit tough okay interesting don't think i need any of these that's fine okay that is basically the setup kind of done we'll see what happens anyway so yeah all right let's try again <laughs> okay i've been trying to trying to do this and it's just it's kind of tough actually okay it's weird because you got to like mess around with the throttle and this is probably the best i can do hold a minute shit no 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 oh my god this is actually so tough Come on. I feel like the Ferrari concept car is actually quite easier to drift, weirdly, compared to this. This is actually quite tough. This just won't want to drift. Yeah, this does this this just doesn't want to drift, does it? Oh my god. Come on man, you can definitely drift it. Okay, I've lowered the power to like about, around about 500, well, like 500 horsepower, whatever it is. And hopefully. It does decent now. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, 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 we're doing something, we're doing something. We're cooking. I'm cooking. Let me cook, let me cook, I'm doing it. One minute, wait. No, no. This thing's so heavy. Oh my god, it's actually just so rubbish. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so, so bad. Come on. This thing is struggling. Like, genuinely struggling. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my god, this thing is so... It's not, like, it's just not... It's just... It's just I'm just going to give up on this. This is. This just isn't working, is it? At all. Okay, here we are. Back again. Yeah, this is probably the best thing that's come out of this update. I say the best thing. It's, the, it's not the best thing, I'll be honest. It, this is the worst thing. 
I'm not a fan of American muscle cars, hence why I don't really drive them much. It's very rare that I drive an American muscle car on this game, or any sort of American brand, I'll be honest. Not that I'm not, like, not like I don't hate, I'm not a hater on American cars, I'm just, I'm just, it's just not my forte, is it really, let's be real, do you know what I mean? Especially this drivetrain as well, front, front rear, I'm not really a fan, I'll be honest. I know that most cars are front rear, rears and all that in this game, but still, I like me mid rear or, you know what I mean, entry from behind, should I say, but yeah, but yo, this drift is nice, okay, okay, let's slow down a little bit. But yeah, this car is. Oh my god! It, this car just won't let me enjoy a drift. It's like the. It's like there's no weight balance on this. It's actually just terrible. Like I have fully upgraded this, and I have had to lower the power because it was overkill. Like it was literally overkill. Like these American Moss cars are just so. Well, I say some of them. Some of them are impossible to like drift. It's actually just insane. Or you need some like some mad control or some sort. Or we need to spend hours and hours and hours just trying to get the perfect setup. But yeah, personally, I just did this in like five minutes of a setup, and it's okay. But it's just definitely not—it's definitely not running great. That's what I would say for certain. Yeah, I'm—I'm I'm, I'm done with this. I, I'm not going to force myself to keep playing this game because this update is actually the worst update I've ever experienced. I'm so sorry, it just is, and I just. I just can't do it. I just can't deal with it. So if you want to see my setup on this car, of course, here it is. This is what I was using anyway. Um, yeah, it's not like the perfect, perfect drift setup ever. I'll be honest with you, because like I said, this car, I feel like the more uh, the more power you add onto the Amer these American type of cars, especially the old ones, I feel like they just literally will just spin out all the time. It's quite, it's quite hard to actually try and make them tune them. I feel like you got to tune them to such perfection in order to get it to actually work well and flow well, but. Yeah, maybe it's just the weight balances of it as well. I mean, it's my fault that I did kind of like just fully, do you know what I mean, go all increase all out on this and then just hope for the best. <laughs> but yeah, not realizing that most American muscle cars anyway for me, I've always had a bad experience with personally anyway. So yeah, there's that. However, though, like I said, that's the whole setup right there. I mean, you can obviously screenshot that, try it for yourself, etc. vice versa. But yeah, like I said, it's all fully upgraded. However, of course, I have done it to 639 horsepower because it was really overkill at 800. 800 was crazy. It was ridiculous. So yeah, there's that. Now, as for the Skoda concept car, that's what I'm just going to call it from now on. So yeah, the Skoda concept car, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I like the fact that brought Skoda. I'm happy with that. However, I'm not happy with the fact that it didn't bring alongside it a road legal car like let's just say, i don't know they could have brought like i said the skoda city girl would be nice 60 horsepower something like that imagine like bumping it up to like crazy horsepowers engine swaps all sorts it would have been absolutely incredibly amazing but they didn't think of that and i'm a bit annoyed they could have at least done an only skoda update that would have been kind of cool to see but i don't know man i don't know why they don't do these things but yeah maybe it's because of licensing i get licensing process is quite long etc vice versa but there is some stuff as well that should be adding like i like come on man i'm literally waiting for a mclaren p1 the road legal one not just the race version i actually low-key want the mclaren p1 just the normal standard one because that would be so nice to add into the game but they haven't added it and i'm just a bit disappointed in that sense but yeah alongside that as well we'll say no tracks quite boring again do you know what i mean i mean the last track i felt like we did have or i can remember of anyway um was the snow day one i say i say i call it snow day but it's you know the snowing one and stuff like that whatever happened to that that just literally just died like just bring back even bring back old tracks from gran turismo do you know what i mean from the previous gran turismo just bring back them like i don't understand why it takes so long to make a track like i just don't get it but i don't know but yeah like i said like it's just not great <laughs> it's not a good update man it's not a good update and i kind of i can't say that yeah this, this is a good update guys it's just not man i'll, I'll probably be real on the video and just say it how it is it's not a good update. It's not a great look on it. Do you know what I mean? But what I can say and I can appreciate is from the last update that, you know, we've got the Lamborghini Urus. We also got the Audi R8. And we got a car that I just didn't care about. So we're just going to scrap that car. But yeah. But overall though, yeah, that, that was a cool update. That was an amazing experience. But with this one, absolutely terrible. It's literally like, it's like ups and downs with Gran Turismo. But I feel like there's more downs than ups because... They literally just keep releasing these concept cars that literally nobody cares about. And we couldn't all agree on that. We just don't care because it's so soulless, so boring. So, I mean, there is nothing to it than that, really. Do you know what I mean? And they are just boring, man. Do you know what I mean? But I have also read as well, apparently, that sometimes when they do release these concept cars as well, especially, that kind of gets brands to then, you know, give them the license in some sort of way. I don't know. I've read that off a comment from Twitter. 
Twitter's always a title to their own opinions, but yeah, but take it as you will. But like I said, like I do hope in the future that they do add more Skodas now. That would be kind of cool. I think that would be quite sick to see, at least some of them anyway. That would be quite nice. Not just visionary or concept cars, whatever you call them, but yeah. So yeah, overall though, that's the whole video right there. I know it's a bit of a... I don't know, man. I thought like this video was slightly negative, and I don't want it to be that way, but it just has to be. I'd rather be real, man. I'd rather be real. Do you know what I mean? Like, look, we all agree it's not a great update. It's not a great update. We can only hope that the next one would be better. I do hope as well, and I am waiting for it. What is going on? What is earth is going on with these roulette tickets? Like, come on, man. Like, where's the where's the update on that? Come on. Like, there's there's little things here and there that need to be updated, and they just haven't updated it yet. That that should be that should be updated way long ago, and it just hasn't. So. Yeah, I don't know what's happening on there, but on that behalf, but yeah. But overall, though, like I said, it's been your boy, Makazij. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please give the video a big fat thumbs up as well. Am I back on Gran Turismo full time? I don't know. Maybe. I'll just see how this one does anyway, and maybe I might do another one in future. We'll just see. But yeah, for now, obviously, Need Speed is literally dead in the mud in the water because, I mean, I've rinsed that game so much. But yeah, other than that, though, I'll see you in a bit. Take care, and yeah, it's been your boy, Makazij. Peace.